Here it is, the ROG Gaming Graphics Card, Strix RTX 2080, 8 gigabytes of RAM there, overclocked edition, gotta have the OC edition. So you wanna upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro, or just get killer prices on Windows, Office 2016, and cheap gaming keys, head on down to 09, make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's gonna make you go woo! This is brand new, retail, Sealed, retail, sealed, no one's opened it, so let's open it up, see what it's like. Well, first let's look at the box. So, um, as you can see, it's pretty much like all the Strix boxes, you could say. They use soy ink, so, you know, environmentally friendly there. Um, very similar to their older boxes, but of course, it's the big RTX here. Um, if we look on the back, all right, so this is what makes Strix special. Okay, the big cold plate there. One of the biggest ones you're gonna see, and you need this on this um, spreader here, so two times more contact. You've gotta remember the die is really big on these RTX cards, so that's a great thing. And they have the best heat sinks, like the thickest pipes. Like This is like a humongous, this card. It's like a three slotter, so. And the thing about the Strix cards is, they always sell out, especially here in Australia. I can't tell you about the rest of the world, but in Australia, they sell out first, they cost the most, they sell out first. Everybody wants the Strix and for good reason. Now, Auto Extreme Technology, that means basically that the PCP is 100% machine made, much better than, you know, human soldering on parts. You get Aura Sync, you know, the best RGB sync. It also has RGB header, and there is a button there. You can turn it on and off. You have the painted and designed uh, fans here, so less noise. The good thing about the Strix, very quiet and very cool. Okay, so you've got this BIOS switch here, and this is fantastic. This means you can switch between a quiet BIOS, I guess, and a performance BIOS. With the performance BIOS, you get the low temperatures, like, you know, we're talking in the 60s, maybe low 70s. We'll test that out. But very low temperatures. The fan noise is still very low, even in performance mode. I've actually seen some people review these. Um, we'll test that out, of course. And then there's a silent mode, so you can switch it to silent mode. The temperatures go up a little bit. Performance is more or less the same, but temperatures go up, so they'll go up into the 70s or whatever. But you get virtually a silent graphics card, so that's awesome. Also, you have, of course, all the software and that. So let's quickly have a look, and I'm going to slam it on a um, 8700K overclock 5 gigahertz. I'll test it on a Ryzen too. Why not? I'll test it on a Ryzen. Okay, so here's the outer box. I'll open it up and this is a hundred percent retail. This isn't some like review unit or whatever. It's hundred percent retail You have all your literature in here uh, Yeah, I don't know what includes CDs these days, but um, I don't even have a computer with a CD. Yeah, some literature there um, Open it up boom We got the beast inside So we get some cable ties we don't have anything in there. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Oh, and there it is. Whew. There it is. What a beast. Look how thick that is. That's some serious heat sink there. Uh, GeForce RTX. You have your two 8 pins there. So be great for overclocking. Um, the RGBs on the front. Here, the painted fans. They look pretty good. And with IO, we have two HDMI 2.0s, I think DisplayPort 1.4s, and yes, the magical USB-C. I'm really glad they're doing USB-C. You have, of course, off the top here, you have the um, SLI finger. Um, it's, it's actually called um, NV-Link now. This is for your RGB LED, so you can turn that on and off with that button there, nice clicky button. We have here, okay, so we have an RGB header right there, get in there. RGB header and two fan headers, so you can control the fans off this graphics card, not many graphics cards do that. That means your case fans can go on there and they'll only crank up when the graphic card gets warm or whatever. And then of course, you know, you can, you know, pimp your ride there with that RGB header there. Okay, so the RGB header, it's 
Fantastic. If we can actually get in there and focus, there's the bias switch. That's on top of the card and you flick that on for the quiet or the performance mode. And there's one little simple switch there. It's very small, as you can see. Look at the card here. It's a massive card. It's like really tiny. It's really just right in there, really small. So yeah. So, you know, it's not something you're gonna bump by accident, but we'll put this card through its paces and we'll see how it goes and of course we've got to we've got to do this don't we? got it oh yeah look that back plate oh looks very nice so take some photos now before i gunk it up and thank you for watching i'll catch you soon with the performance metrics let's go baby